Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, let's solve another decode weekly contest uh, medium problem. The minimum, minimum swaps to arrange a binary grid. Although it says it's a median question, but I feel like the difficulty is around uh, median to hard. First, uh, let's see the question statement. So given an, an n times n binary matrix, and in one step, you are able to choose two adjacent rows of the, the grid and then swap them. And then a grid is said to be valid if all the cells above the main diagonal, which is uh, this direction, are all zeros. And we have to return the minimum number of steps needed to make the grid uh, valid. If it is not possible, then we will just return a negative one. So the first example for this grid, uh, first we will uh, swap row one and row two. So it, it, will be look, uh, it will look like this. And then we will swap row two and row three. And finally swap uh, row one and row two again. So you can see that above the main diagonal, it will become all zeros. And the next example uh, for uh, the third row, the, the third column, because there's no zeros at all in all columns. So in this case, it's not possible to make the grid valid. So the output will be negative one for this case. And the intuition to solve this problem is uh, first, we have to try to make uh, transform the 2D matrix into a 1D array. And second, usually for questions to find minimum steps, minimum numbers, we can think of uh, either dynamic programming, uh, BFS, or greedy algorithm. And in this case, we have to use uh, a greedy approach. And it's kind of like doing a bubble sort uh, underneath the hood. So for example one, uh, the first step is to count uh, how many trailing zeros are in each, in each, uh, each row. So for the first row, there's no uh, trailing zero. And second row, there's one. And there are two trailing zeros in the third row. And our goal is to transform uh, this grid to look like this. Two trailing zeros in the first row and one, and then none in the third row. So the actual problem will become how do we transform this array uh, 0, 1, 1, 2 to the array 2, 2, 1, 0. And the actual steps are, so for this array uh, 0, 1, 2, we will have a target uh, number for each uh, indexes. So starting from index 0, we have to try to swap a 2 to, uh, to index 0. So we will search uh, the rest of the array. And then once we find a two or a number bigger than two, we will try to swap it into the into, into index zero. And in this case, we have to make two swaps to place a two into index zero. Okay, then move to index one. Uh, at, at index one, we would need a one or a number bigger than one to place here. So we search the rest of the array and then we find a one and we will make another swap. So finally, we will get the target array to one zero. So totally, we will have to make uh, three adjacent swaps. Now let's see the code in action. So the left part uh, of the code is uh, pretty self-explanatory. So first get the uh, dimension of the grid. And then here we define a count zero function to generate the trailing zeros array of this grid. And then we run the functions to generate a zeros, uh, the trailing zeros array. And then the right part is uh, to do the searching and swapping on the zeros array. This is more tricky, so let's focus on this part. Okay, and first we will have a, a for loop to go, go through every item in the array. And at uh, every index, the target number we need 
is an n minus i minus 1. So for index 0, the target is uh, n, which is 3, minus 0, minus 1. So it's 2 in this case. So if uh, if the element at the index is already bigger, bigger or equal to target, then we can just continue the for loop. And here we will have a possible flag to check if it is possible to get a number for every index. And here we have an uh, inner loop that will search the rest of the array. And once we find an element which is bigger or equal to target, we will set the possible flag to true. And then the number of swaps we have to make is uh, j minus i. And we will add that into the result uh, variable. And here is the trickiest part in the code. So when you are swapping and moving, the, like for example, two into uh, to the first index zero, it's kind of like pushing the subarrays zero one, one, uh, one step right. So we can do uh, zeros, the array zeros, one plus one to j plus one equals uh, zeros i to i to j and then we will break uh, the inner loop and finally check the possible flag if possible uh, equals to false then we will just return a negative one and finally return uh, rest and finally let's do a quick review and to be honest i think this solution is pretty difficult to think of uh, during a contest. But uh, the key points is, first, we have to transform the two-dimensional problem into a 1D array to solve it. And in order to find the minimum number of swaps, we have to use a greedy approach, uh, which is to find, find the first element, which is bigger or equal to target, and then swap. And this solution, it has time complexity, big O of n square for uh, two loops, and the uh, uh, linear space complexity for the uh, trailing zeros array. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.